Um, hi. Welcome to Crank Fishing. Um, coming back with another video. I'm your host. And today is Christmas, so Merry Christmas. And I'm in my basement right now. And I got a new mystery tackle. Well, no, not a mystery tackle box. But a tackle box, so. It is the Ego Tactical Fishing Gear bag. And... I don't have I don't I don't have that so I'm gonna be storing all of my bait in there and I'll just let you know what I got what I have and how I'll set this up and I also got entered into fishing tournaments for Rhode Island and so that that will be really good. All right, first I already completed this. It's Googan Squad. Googan Squad is my favorite bait. They're just that good. All right, uh, first frog. Well, this is my layout right now for it. If you guys can see that, it's um, swim jigs, jigs, uh, spinner bait, popper, frog. So I'll close that up. That'll be the first one. And I'm just trying to sort everything out because it's a bit of a mess. All right. And right now I'm setting up my crank bait, crank baits right now into this box. So I'm just moving everything from my old to the new. So, crankbait. I, you guys saw this in the last mystery tackle box. Open this up. And let's pop them in. Oops. You just almost got caught on my jeans. Oh, never mind. He's tied together. Looks like they're stuck somehow. And I don't know why. It's like this sticky stuff. I don't know what it is. Come on. It's like this glue. I don't know. I'm just going to pop it in. So this is going in. Doesn't make, <clears throat> doesn't make much of a sound right now. That's going to go in. Now this. You, you guys saw this too. I lost... Um, in my last video, it is a crankbait, so I will be popping that in the crankbait section. Let me just, and I'll throw in uh, a jerkbait in there too, because it's kind of in their family. It's like the cousin of the crankbait. So that will go in there, and that will, that's trash. Uh, spoons, um, I'll put that aside for later. And yeah, more spoon. More spoons. Um alright. Um I didn't get this in a preview a previous uh tackle box. I did not make a video on this. This is before I made this channel. So I'll be putting that in there. Alright, um oops, my bad. I did get a GoPro, so you guys will, I, I'll have the vest, so you guys will be seeing me fishing, and on, off the docks, and if I get a boat, which will not be soon. So this is my crankbait box, if you guys can see that. I, I might label this, but the next time I'm probably going to go fishing is in the spring or the summer. So, that's not bad. Um, sticker. Alright, any more crankbaits? Nope. All right. All good. So that box is going in. So two out of four. And you know what? I'll make a jig one because everybody needs a good jig. You know? This is how life rolls. All right. So a little cross jig. Pop it in there. Wait. Can I pop it in? What this thing is not keeping still. All right. Jig going in there. Football jig. That's going in there too. I have a lot of jigs. Wait. All right. So their skirts are flying everywhere. Um. Hooks. Put that aside. I'll make a swim bait one, too. If I can find everything, that is. Where'd I put those jigs? I 
forgot. Jig, jig. There was, I, I literally just saw them. Man, did you, man. It's, I had, I had, yeah, right here. So, cross eye jig. You guys saw that. I had two of them. So, you know, whatever. Pop this guy in here. If it will come open, that is. Excuse that. This is probably like the dryer or something. Uh, Alright. The tape is off. It's time to get you open. Okay. This little guys, you just you just saw this one. Put that in there. Uh, what else do we have? I already have a hook tackle box, so that's all fun. Um, I'll make a software one. It'll, it'll probably be mixed in with the jigs, to be honest. Hooks. Spoon. Oh, yeah, the drop shots. I forgot about this. I have another one that I have to switch over. Alright, so I keep this in my bag. It's Neosporin spray. And the reason is, if you get caught or something, and you're fishing, it's happened to me before, if, like, if, when you're taking the hook out of Bass's mouth, you get, if, like, sometimes you'll get, like, a little red, itchy thing, you just spray this on it, it's all good. Uh, so, I'll keep that in here. You know what, I'll just put it in my accessories little thing. And right here, we've got some bandito bugs, Guggen Squad. They're, they catch fish. I really do advise them. Um, some Sankos or Lunker Logs, Guggen Squad. Drop shots here. Just a little thing. You stick to. And then we got the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Shad. This is a really good bait. Alright, that's better. And so and then we got saucy swimmers, swim baits. These are good. So to be honest with you, I'm just gonna mix it in. So I'll just grab all my lunker logs, plop them in here. Boop. They look like worms. Well that's what they're based off of, to be honest. More worms. Or longer logs. That looks weird. Uh, I'll put the bandito bugs here. I bought I bought like three packs when I went to Bass Pro and I got Bass Pro gift cards, so I'll be recording in Bass Pro probably. So stay tuned for that. Bandito bugs. Almost filled to the top. Monkey logs too. I'll give it an extra space because it's so big. Mm. Oh, this is a beat up bandito boat. I think I caught a five pounder on this one. That's why it's like that. Put the hook in. These things catch fish. I'm not lying. Um, even my mom catches stuff on it. So if your mom can do it. You can do it. Um, put the drop shots right here. All the drop shots. Just put... It's like a finesse bait. I like them. Just feel the nibble, and you hook away. Um, rest of the drop shots are going there. I have a lot of unnecessary baits. Uh, and then the, the swimmer baits. Um, where will I put this? Um, all the saucy swims. I'll put it in the container. I'll try to squish them in, because I don't have much room left. And I have, uh, the big baits, uh, swimmer baits, so, paddle tails. So, I'll have to get that in there, too. Wait, no, I'll just put it in another another box, to be honest. Three more. Come on, I can fit this. I'll just put one of them in the drop shots. Alright, that's going up. 
number three. All in. Now, you know what? I'll, I can put a Catch Co sticker on it, on all these boxes. So, this will be cool. Well, at least I'll think it'll be cool. Because they, um, Mystery Tackle Box or Carl's Bait and Tackle. There's, they're, they're just one of the best fishing brands out there. So if you guys want to go plop down, um, it's a really good fishing. Uh, ah, what am I doing with the sticker? So here it is. That's the way I just put away. So I can't wait to fish with this in the tournaments. All right, and I have one more to fill, and it's right here. So this one will be primarily soft baits, probably. I have a lot of soft baits. Alright. Oh. Jitterbug. Forgot to top that. Top water. Jitterbug. I've caught pickerel, bass, pike on this. Really do advise it. When it becomes night, all you want to do, that's like my number one top water bait. Every, every Like every five casts, you'll get a big hit on it. And it's so fun. That's water going through the pipes. Um, scissors, pliers. I'll keep that in my other bag or something. Um, what is this? Bruiser baits, crawls. Alright. Stuff this guy in here. So, put that in there. Sorry. If I had a better camo, I would do something, but I don't have a setup or anything, so, you know, whatever. Uh, so that was the bruiser baits I just packed in. Exo zones, uh, crawls, muscle back finesse, open these up. I'll put them in, like, the same slot, because they're, like, the same thing. Crawls or crawls, and then I have five different packs of crawls, so they are a good bait, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's hooks in that we can talk about. Oops. Phone dropped. Alright. Oh, they just fell everywhere. So, these are the crawls. I'll put them in. I'll, I have different stickers, so I'll, I'll load this up. Stickers. Cool stickers, if you know what I mean. Alright, so that's nicely tucked in. Oh, there's one left. My bad. And I have different crawls. I because this is where my fishing stuff is. Um, all right. And then we have these, the Cabin Creek crawls. So these can all be good for trailers, to be honest with you, for jigs. Alright. Can, can you do that later? Or are you doing the laundry now? I gotta do it now because it's all so Alright, right, so then we have the big, the big baits, um, crows. These are big and they have something in their mouth. They have a mouth that you stick the hook, the hook through. Weird. Put that above because these are big. Swimmers, some baits, pack these in. And I believe I have more baits today coming because it's Christmas. And I am now a member of uh, Bassmasters Rhode Island Juniors. So I'll be getting like. Can you turn the light on? It's fine. And after that, I think. I'm gonna get a newspaper every week. So this is how it's turning out so far. Got everything in there, like a little frog, everything. Um, what else do I have that I need to put in? Oh, I forgot, I have another jig. Where's the jig? Ah, uh, and never mind. I'll just put it in there. Well, I'll just grab it, cause it's the jig box. The jig box.
Right, that's going in there. Close it up. Put it back in. Uh, I have swim baits left, hooks, plastic. I have a whole container of plastic baits, keep in mind. So, here's all, usually all my plastic baits. Whether it's um, Senkos, little things for sunfish or crappie. More like french, french fry worms, whatever. I don't think I can fit it all, but I'll try. And spinner bait, um, I'll put that somewhere. I will put it somewhere. Probably in a different tackle box. I have a lot of bait. And I just got a, a mystery tackle box subscription. So I have more coming in the mail. So that's great. Yeah. Um, I still have more room, but I, I don't know what to put in. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put in this, the spinner bait I was just talking about. Just because. I don't. There's no room for it, actually. There's more room in it, so. I could fit different things if I could. You know what? I'm gonna check that out right now. So, I have these Bass Pro ones. And they're big. And it's not what it came with and stuff. So. I'll just check if it fits. Just give me a minute. If I could, like, put it horizontal like that. Because it, it is a pretty big bag. Too big. Too big. I just put my bobbers and hooks just for sunfish. Just because it's in the summer and there's nothing going on. Just keep it in there, you know? Just sunfish one after another on a worm. They always bite on worms. Or if you take a little bread or wonder bread, like the white, not wheat, but white bread. You just crumple it up into a little ball and put it on your hook. You're all set to go. Because they'll bite on that all day, every week in the summer. So, we have a whole bunch of hooks and stuff. So, this is my little hook bag. Now, the event video's a long while. So, I'll finish this up and keep you posted. Uh, I am getting more baits, so I'll post another video, but I'll see you. Have a good time.